Yeah, you're on. Hi again, everyone. So the next step is you are going to melt your sugar into some whole milk. And the measurements for that are, we can post the recipe afterward. But yeah, we will post the recipe. We're going to do one and a half cups of whole milk and two thirds a cup of sugar. So I'm going to okay. walk over to the stove. Yeah. So let's do milk first. So that's one and a half cups of whole milk. Whole milk. All right. So this isn't fattening or anything. <laughs> it's ice cream, right? <laughs> yeah. This is the only time I buy whole milk. Yeah. Same here. I never buy whole milk. Okay. Um, this does make a smaller amount for this, so if you have more than two people, I suggest doubling it. All right, because well, it's... It makes about four servings, but you don't want just one. Yeah, right, and it's so delicious that everyone's going to want more than one serving. Exactly, yeah. Okay, so, and then it's two-thirds a cup of sugar, so you're just going to put that in there. Can I use one of your wooden spoons? Yeah, of course. So you're just going to put that one on low key. Okay. And there she stirs. Stir, stir, stir. <laughs> yeah. Right now we're mostly waiting on the leaves to, and then we can kick up the. Oh yeah. Let me. Yeah. Let's check in on that. Like what is happening? Oh, you know what? I didn't hit start. Oh, oh no. Okay, so we're not doing anything. That's okay. It's this. This isn't my oven. Yeah, and it's this silly uh, digital oven. Yeah. Yes. So now, now we can be expecting some nice aromas. Yes. Okay. No wonder the smoke alarm hasn't gone off yet. Yeah. We got two people watching. Hi, Lori. Hi, Beth. Hi. That's great. I'm sure I'm sure dozens of our fans will watch when it gets posted to the Facebook page yeah, and the YouTube yeah. later. That's okay. I'm happy to yeah. share with yes. you for now. Yeah, exactly. More we want later. Yeah. Two is kind of a weird time of the day, so Yeah. Um, while we're doing, while we're waiting on the fig leaves, I'm gonna turn this down a little bit and start on separating the yolks. So you are going to need Four egg yolks. Do you use the whites or do you throw those out? You, well, I don't like to throw them out. I usually like make an omelet yeah. the next day. Sure. But I'll yeah, stick it in the fridge. The right. I oh, am very she's... bad at packing eggs under pressure, so... <laughs> Aren't we all? Yeah. I'm sorry, I didn't have an official egg separator. That's okay. I usually do it the way you're doing it. When no one's watching me, I do a much better job. <laughs> All right, um, Beth is asking that she says she missed the very beginning. We are making New Zealand style, because this is where uh, Katie found the recipe in New Zealand, New Zealand style fig leaf ice cream. So we, here on Ochre Coke, figs are a big part of the culture. Um, mostly the old timers made fig preserves out of the fresh figs so that they could have something sweet and delicious in the winter. And then they, um, in the 1950s, started making fig cakes with the fig preserves. Chester Lynn says his grandmother also used to um, candy the figs, dry them and, and have, you know, have them sugared or maybe even put chocolate on them and have them in the fridge ready for the grandkids to visit. But I have never heard, and I asked a few people on Ocracoke, as far as I know, I don't know anyone who's made a recipe with fig leaves before. So here's Katie. She lived in New Zealand for a year. She found this recipe in a botany book, and here she goes. Yeah. If it wasn't like a popular one that I can go buy on the internet, I cannot find it. Okay. So, but we I did look. <laughs> if you Google fig leaves and cooking, I mean, there are people yes. who mention it. It's a thing. Yeah. Someone was telling me that you can make dolmas instead of like the grape leaves, you use fig leaves. 
I mean, they have great leaves here too, but I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, there's options. Yeah, and they're supposed to have a nutty, sort of coconutty flavor to the leaf. Yes. So All right, so she's whisking those four yolks. Four egg yolks for this. Amount. Four egg yolks. Just whisk them up a little bit. Again, not the healthiest recipe. Whole milk and egg yolks. And... I mean, when you hear fig leaf ice cream, I don't think anyone's <laughs> thinking, oh, yeah, hey, that fits into my diet. The diet. fig leaf <laughs> is green and leafy. Yeah, salad. <laughs> This is almost like a salad. That's right. Let's see here. Let's go. Oh, they're starting to curl a little tiny bit. Sunday, can you smell it at all? I have my mask on. Sunday. Yeah, I'll pull my mask down a little. Yeah. What, what is your first take on what this smells like? It is kind of coconutty. That would be, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. So back here, what are you going to do? Well, okay. So the exact measurement for your heavy cream is two and a half cups. This is about this much. So okay. Uh, that's six so we're faking ounces. it? Uh-huh. Yeah. Um, okay, let's check back in. Oh, those leaves are looking good. All right. They're still green. Still I think green. one of those still has a little bit of. You want a little bit of brown, it. right? Yeah. You can smell it. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. I think your fig leaves smell a bit different than the ones from Interesting. OPS. Interesting. Yeah. Well, the the OPS fig leaves are a sugar fig, and these are a blue fig, so the figs taste different. So I guess the leaves yeah, would be a little probably, bit different. That, that's that's why some people, when they see jars of fig preserves, will wonder why some of the fig preserves look dark and right, some look right. light. And, of course, that has to do with which figs people are using. And you said yours is a blue fig? Mine is a blue fig, which is a really purple, mm -hmm. a kind of big, dark purple fig. And one of the fig, the fig that you brought with you today, is this one of Heather's? It looks like a Kadota fig. Yeah. And um, one of the things Heather told me about the figs that stay green, that are ripe, that are green when they're ripe. I mean, they all start off green, but some of them are still green or yellow when they're ripe. Is she said the birds don't attack them as much because the birds don't recognize um, them as ripe. They're looking for that purple and brown color to go after. We also have a little bit of pecans there in a dish. Oh, one of my and food vanilla. Groups. Yeah. Uh, uh, one of my food groups on Facebook when they were talking about figs, someone's dad put snakes, like uh, fake plastic snakes, in the fig trees. And oh, the yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Well, so some people put pie trees. pans, like aluminum pans, you know, that reflect and make noise um, as a scarecrow. And then also, some people cover them with fishing net. I, I've never done that. I mean, the birds do sometimes get them. Um, I have a really barky dog. You can hear him. He's outside right now that barks whenever a bird, when he can see it out the living room window on the fig tree. So that's kind of, he's been my little scarecrow for these years. Um, we saw a cardinal on there the other day. And then in the wintertime, the fig tree is where I put my bird feeder. So, you know, they kind of expect to eat there. Ooh, look at those curly leaves. Those are pretty clink, crinkly. Crinkly, curly leaves. A, oh, right in here. Perfect. It's always fun. Uh, other people's yeah, kitchens. other people's kitchens, right? Nice. So these ones didn't turn as brown as the sugar leaf ones, or the sugar fig. Do you think leaves? they're done? Um, yeah, they're they're crinkly enough. Okay. Say. Yeah. Do, they, do you like the way they smell? They smell kind of caramely to you. I gotta pick one up. Yeah. Yeah. It's definitely a good smell. Yeah. I don't know. I think I'm gonna stick it in there a little longer. Okay, a little bit longer. We to just We're learning it. as we go. I, Lori Garish, it looks like she's giving us three waves here. Hi. Or high fives. <laughs> All right. Both are good things. It's getting a little warm in here with that oven open and the masks <laughs> on, but we're being we're being safe. Yes. <laughs> we need big masks. 
I know. I'm sorry. I haven't made them yet. I'm working <laughs> on it. About that. Yeah, we yeah. talked about me making fig masks. I'm working on it. But, you know, my sewing space is the same as our cooking space. So <laughs> my kitchen table. So That's had to have it good. cleared off today. Yeah. yeah. It's not a big house. So you're cooking. Did you get thicker? I'm just honestly waiting on the okay. leaves right now. I'm just kind of stirring this. So it looks like I'm doing something. So it looks like you're doing something. <laughs> Got it. Okay. Really no, no other reason. <laughs> Do you have anything to, any announcements to make while we're waiting? Um, fun facts? Fun facts. Fun fig facts. Uh, well, gosh, I don't know. I, I just posted last night. Well, I think it posted this morning. I scheduled it for this morning. A list of where to find figs on the island. And that includes um, fig preserves and fig trees and also figs on the menu in various restaurants on the island, both savory and sweet. And I had two things added to that already. I had missed the Pony Island restaurant and they put um, figs on their French toast. They have that special this week. And then also um, Leanne Smith, who has a booth every year called Leaf Peeper Teas. And she has a booth every year at the um, Fig Festival just took some fig tea to the Village Craftsman. That sounds really good. So, um, other restaurants, you can get fig cake at the Sweet Tooth Fig Tree Deli. Um, the Flying Melon Restaurant has an appetizer, an entree, and a dessert that features figs. Figs go great with pork and prosciutto, so they have a prosciutto appetizer and a pork entree. All right. I think they're done. I can, you can kind of almost smell like a cinnamon. Do you yeah. See? Yeah, kind of like a, it smells like a spice and it's kind of a. Nice. Yeah. Okay. All right, so you just take those and they're not hot, so you just throw them Oh, in even the stems? Yeah, all of it. Wow. You strain it out later. Ah, well, <laughs> okay. So we are going to. You can crunch it up, it's not going to. You're straining it out, so. All right. A little warm. So you're putting the fig leaf flavor in the ice cream, Correct. but not, so it really isn't very much like a salad. Yeah, <laughs> it's not. Really. I'm gonna turn that down now so we don't, so we can hear each salad. other. <laughs> the essence of salad. <laughs> yeah, all right. If you're just tuning in here, this is the beginnings of what will be fig leaf ice cream. All right, check it out. Milk fat is kind of separating, so we'll just let that heat up a bit. Yeah, okay. So he's got it on, what, like medium high there? Yeah. All you right. You burn it, but you want to get it all of the flavor out of those leaves. And there must have been a lot of moisture in the leaves, even though we dried them, because it looks like, you know, it's separating a little bit in there. Well, it was, it's the milk, it's oh. the milk fat. Okay. It was already separated. Oh, it was. I put it on the heat, yeah. Oh, okay. That's okay, it shouldn't try and do anything. Cool. Maybe don't do that if you make it at home, just wait until your leaves are done. Okay. It'll probably make it easier. And what comes next? Um, okay, so while it is heating up, we already did the egg yolks. Um, measure the cream. Okay, so when this is done, we are going to put the temper portion of that into the egg yolks and temper that. I don't even know what that means. Oh, um, so you're <laughs> raising the temperature okay. of the yolks um, at a slower ah right okay instead of all at once so it doesn't so they don't cook in. yes right exactly. okay yeah here i am learning stuff <laughs> <laughs> great day to learn oh i'm gonna show i'm gonna i'm gonna do a real close-up on you katie hold still oh. on your side turn side oh, okay. she's wearing the fig earrings look at that they're figs on the front and leaves on the back and um, you can get those at the OPS gift shop. 
at the Preservation Society Museum gift shop or um, this weekend. So it's available mail order through the gift shop or this weekend on Saturday from 10 to 4. We will have a porch bazaar, a porch there at OPS, and we'll have the earrings there. Oh, we have a question. Penny asks, can you eat the roasted fig leaf too or best use just for seasoning? I've never seen roasted fig leaves before. Fascinating. Um, Penny, we talked a little bit earlier about um, there are ways to eat the fig leaves. Um, and we know this from Googling. So, you know, if you Google it, you'll probably get the same results we did. But apparently there are recipes that use the fig leaf similar to the way you would use a grape leaf to wrap um, dolmas, you know, some Mediterranean food. Um, so you can use it pretty much as a wrap. In that case, you would steam the leaf and then use it to wrap. And um, apparently toasting the leaves like we did in the oven and then crumbling them is a seasoning that you can use where you do actually eat the leaf as well. Um, it's hard to smell with masks on. That's all right. Um, we're, we're not going to eat this this batch anyway, yeah, remember? Sure, I guess, yeah. <laughs> okay. We have some in the freezer, so you guys yeah, don't have to wait an hour for it to freeze. Yes. Okay, so, I'll just go ahead and do it. Yes. So this Sunday, if you want to have a peek over it. It shouldn't be that should curdled. Not, yeah, you shouldn't have chunks in it. Right. It was because I was already heating it before I put the fig leaves okay. in, so wait until all of your steps. I okay. was just trying to do something. Yeah, we were yeah. trying too hard. Okay. okay. So what you're going to do next is you're going to take some of that and you're going to temper the eggs and nice. whisk it. Nice. So Sunday had asked earlier, if you're just now tuning in, you're gradually heating up the eggs so they don't cook. That's right. And then when they're tempered, you're going to... Oh, look at this. Um, Leanne just popped in here. Leanne Smith, I mentioned her that she made some fig tea today. Um, took it to the Village Craftsman. and she says, a few jars of a seasoning blend called Village Bay containing fig leaves will be available at our porch bazaar. How cool. Thanks, Leanne. Yeah, that's the other thing is um, you can use the dried figs and fig leaves in tea. But also, I guess Leanne has also made a seasoning blend that oh, is amazing. I'd love to try that. Yeah. What else is in that blend? Is yeah, can you tell us what else is in there, Leanne? All right. So she's whisking. And we are going to post the recipe. So anyone can try this at home if you have fig leaves. We also plan to pick fig leaves if you don't have a tree. We will pick them fresh Saturday morning. Oh, Leanne says it's a secret. Of course it is. <laughs> <laughs> you have to buy it. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Uh, fair enough. So um, anyway, we will have fresh fig leaves at the market on Saturday. If you would like to try this yourself, you can come and get the fig leaves. We'll pick them off the OPS tree, and I'll pick some off of mine. And you can try them both like we have if you want. Mix them together. You know, most years I make fig preserves out of my blue figs and then sometimes also out of, I had a friend who didn't used to live here. Now he's retired and he's moved here, but I used to make them out of his sugar figs too. But um, this year, Heather gave me Kadota figs. I got sugar figs from an, I'm not going to name my source, and I have my blue figs and I decided my preserves are just going to be a mix. I'm going to put them all together and see how that comes out. There are three different colors of fig. I don't know. I think it'll be cool. So this particular recipe did not call for vanilla, but I put vanilla in everything. So sure. You just put a little, little. I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you a secret from when I was young, Katie. When I was your age, I like to wear vanilla extract as perfume. <gasps> Dab some about uh, behind your ears. Men so love cookies. Really you smell like cookies. <laughs> Who doesn't like cookies, doesn't right? Like cookies. <laughs> That's <hilarious. laughs> I'm serious, it's the yeah. best perfume. Put it behind yeah, your ears, and your cleavage, and your, pul <laughs> and your pulse points. It's cheap, I mean, compared yeah. to perfume, it's yeah, cheap. It's, right. Yeah, so there you go. So right now, <laughs> so I put the vanilla in. Right now, I'm just gonna 
now uh -huh. you, what you want to do is you want to keep stirring it until it starts to thicken. And right now you're, it's kind of curdy, but yes. it's normally clear. Um, okay. And so you're just going to stir it until you start to see kind of like chunks of custard starting to form at the bottom. Right. You don't want a lot of custard, just like a thin layer so you know it's hot enough that it's been cooking. Right. Um, because you're going to strain out that all later, so you don't want to lose your batter. That's right. All right, we have another watcher. Mary Beth's on here. Mary Beth, we're making fig leaf ice cream. Just so you know, this this has, um, Mary Beth's the one who made the mask for me with the figs on it. Oh, nice. The pink mask, yeah. Okay, so this has um, fig leaves that were mm -hmm. toasted in the oven, milk, sugar, egg yolks, just the mm -hmm. yolks, and did heavy you put the cream in? Cream. And the heavy whipping cream. No, I haven't put the cream in. Yeah, you haven't put the cream in. Yeah. Okay. And vanilla. And vanilla. Because vanilla makes everything better. Yes. So when do you add the whipping cream? I think after we strain it out. Mm. Back in my directions. Yeah, so we are going to put the custard mixture into the cream and whisk it to, okay, so yes, the cold cream is going to cool down the egg ah, mixture. Right, of course. Um, so the eggs do not form custard. Right. Because you want it kind of custardy, but not all the right. way. And that's the point that you're supposed to cool it in the fridge for an hour, but we are not going We're to We're skipping that, that part because we have some already yes. in the freezer. I mean, that's what, like, Julia Child does, did. She skipped the cooling? Yeah, part? I mean, well, I mean, she would have recipes in very or Martha Stewart. They have recipes in various stages of okay, done. yeah. And then they pull out right. a finished casserole right. instead of waiting to bake it for an hour. That's what we're doing. Yeah. We're going to be pros at this by the mm -hmm. time the virtual fig fest is over. Oh, maybe like 10 minutes before we're finished, we should put that in the refrigerator because it starts to defaw it. Okay. Um, at a slower speed. You let speed. me know when? Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. Just remind me if you think that. Okay. Um, I don't know if any of you who are watching yet saw the um, YouTube videos that I posted this morning, but interview with Chester plus a little short plug for his book, which is called Figments of Ocracoke and Ococker Says a Word. And there's going to be more about that. There are three parts to the Chester interview. And then um, this week we're going to have a Facebook live session with Chester where people can ask him questions live because we always have a Q&A with Chester at the festival, and there may be something that he didn't answer when I interviewed him. That will be on the porch of the OPS Museum. I'm hoping to do that on Sunday. I have to confirm with him, and then I will make an event page for it on the Ocracoke Fig Festival page. Um, we also have some music coming to you. Um, Molasses Creek. Well, I would say Gary and Kitty and Katie, Gary of Molasses Creek with his wife and daughter, did a song, which I'm going to post. And then next week, Coyote and Martin are going to do a special concert for us. Um, it would have been this week, but everything's a little bit behind because <laughs> we had a hurricane evacuation. They're going to do it next week, and it will be broadcast on Facebook Live and then later on YouTube, and they'll talk about the Fig Festival. They've been performers there since the beginning. And um, Fiddler Dave Tweedy is actually going to do a little performance for us sometime this weekend, too. So we will have some music going on. We're going to try to have all the elements of the Fig Festival without meeting in person and get big. And hopefully it'll reach people that wouldn't have been able to come to it. In That's right. One. People who've never been it. here the first, yeah. second week of August to be here for it. Okay, so do you have the cream in the bowl? Is that what we've got? Yep, cream. So that's 16 fluid ounces. Of heavy cream. Glub, 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 glub. Okay, and then still waiting on the custard bits on the bottom. I turned up the heat a little bit ago, so hopefully that Okay, we're up to medium. On the way. Yep. It's bubbling a little bit on the sides and it looks less curdly now. Yeah, it does. I whisked it a little bit. Yeah, so. I think that took care of it. 
Um, yeah, that looks delicious. Oh, we strain it with the colander there? Is that mm -hmm. what we'll... Yeah, after okay. you mix the cream. Right. So you want to kind of scrape the bottom. Yep, still not. I'm going to turn up a little bit more. Katie, is this your first fig festival? Were you here last year? I was here the year before. The year before, okay. That was one of the events I did get to go. Oh, good. So, Yay. Yeah. She wasn't working for OPS no, then. You just started this spring, I'm right? Enjoying it. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. I love it. It's so much fun. Yeah. Did you get to taste any of the cakes at the Bake Off that year? I don't think I went to the Bake Off. I okay. think I, all I saw was, that? that's my clock. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, I just, did a little shopping at the nice. vendor spaces. Yeah. Thank you. Thank yeah. you for shopping the vendors. They <laughs> all appreciate it. We appreciate it. Yeah. We love our vendors. Um, one of the things that we are doing this year is asking them if they can to bring their products to us on Saturday morning and we will sell it for them. That's less exposure, less risk for everybody if we do the selling. So we will have Leanne's products. We will have Trudy and John's products. We will have the stuff that we sell in the gift shop. We will have the amazing new Fig Festival teas, which I will post on the Facebook page after Katie and I are done here. And um, we will have, uh, I think we're going to have Kim Meacham's, uh, which is Milk Street Soap, her Fig Soap. So, yeah, we're going to have some great stuff. And that'll be Saturday, 10 to 4. And we'll be selling raffle tickets for our gift basket and also for Charma Casey's original artwork for this year, framed. So um, we'll have that going on as well. Have a lot going on. All right, let's see. How are we doing it's there? there? It's getting all bubbly. Woo, look at that. Still not getting a customer. Now, this is the kind of thing that if you were having an event, and you were going to make ice cream for someone. You would do all this part first. Yes. Yes, and have it cold in the refrigerator. Right. So that when you wanted to turn on the... And I said we were going to hand crank it, but actually <laughs> what you, you found an electric yes. cranking machine, which is nice. I two other batches and I had to hand crank it. Hand cranking ice cream is a lot of work. Yes. And, you know, but it does make you appreciate the finished product. It does. One year, I hosted Thanksgiving here for a bunch of people, and um, we hand-cranked eggnog-flavored ice cream. That it was pretty good. Really good. Yeah, I mean, basically, we made a custard kind of like what you're doing the day before, mm -hmm. but um, instead of heavy cream, it was eggnog in it. You want to come smell it? It's, it's nice pretty smell tasty. Good. Okay. She says it smells good. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that smells good. Shoo. All right, now my glasses have fogged up. <laughs> Can you see still? <laughs> okay. Okay, so now you can cut. Let me rinse this off so you can see. So you can see there's kind of the custardy bits. Uh huh. Custardy on the bits. Bottom. Yep. So that is about when we're going to cut the heat. Okay. Dump it into our cream. To cool it. Mm -hmm. All right. So you're just cooling down your custard so the egg doesn't get comfy. Right. I was trying to get you in it. Oh. I'm, yes, that looks beautiful. It's nice and creamy and smooth mm -hmm. now. No lumps, so that was no all lumps, fine. Yeah. We were fine. It just wasn't how it was before, so I wasn't <laughs> sure. It's not okay. like a recipe that I've been making for years or anything. Right. Did you want to show them the t-shirt while I'm... Oh, yeah. Well, maybe I'll pop over here. Like I said, don't look too closely at my kitchen. She's not fully dressed. 
We did flood last year in Dorian and we've gotten a lot of work done, but we have not painted in the kitchen. So I am one-handedly here. Here we go, here's the tea. This is the back of the ladies' tea, which is an ice blue. Um, it's kind of the same color as the egg carton there. And then the front of the ladies' tea, it's a V-neck with our little lady fig on the front. There she is. And then for the unisex tea, we put the design on the front. And it didn't come in the same color. It's, it's a lighter blue. And we also have it in a silver. I haven't dug those out of the box yet. So there's the lighter blue. That's what the front of it looks like. And then the back, now I feel like I'm the shopping channel. The back <laughs> has the little flirty, cool fig with the sunglasses. I love him. I love him so much. <laughs> yeah, okay. Okay, so now we are going to strain out the fig leaves. Straining out the fig leaves. And you get your little colander, put it over a bowl. If you have a lot of custard chunks, it might be good to get one of the wire colanders so you get the fine grainy bits out of it, but do this you, will do just fine for now. Do you want a, spatula, a rubber spatula for scraping out that bowl? No. Okay. Oh, I anyway. see. You could, if you used a wire colander, it mm -hmm. would, yeah. So that's the custard. Right. Is it cooked? So you just kind of squeeze out the liquid from your fig leaves. If you want, you don't have to, whatever. All right. Okay, and then that's, okay, so at this point is when you are going to put it in the refrigerator for an hour to cool down. We're not going to do that today. We're going to just put it directly into ice cream maker. That's right. Okay. We are. We don't have time for that. We do not have time. Alright, so. Here's, a, it looks like an old-fashioned hand yes. crank. It actually looks exactly like the one that Jim and Laura McLean let me borrow. Uh-huh. It's electric, so we yeah. just want to set Laura, if you're watching, I will return your <laughs> Uh, Laura's not watching. Laura's actually working at the library so okay. that I could be doing this. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay. Um, and then you just put it in there like ice cream. If you want to make it really thick, you can whip it up and make it really thick. Oh, do you want to stick the already made stuff in the refrigerator? Oh, yes. I'll do that. I'm just going to dump this in here. She's so just going to dump ice. It's just going to be loud. We'll get another view of my kitchen. Cute kids on the fridge. Don't judge the inside of my fridge. We won't even look there. All right. Here we go. Did you put it over the little knob? Yeah, yeah I, I got to get I hate it when that happens. Here, just dump the ice in here and start again. Yeah, there you go. That's a good idea. <laughs> I, it doesn't have a very sturdy. Yeah. Right. I've done that myself. We had we had an old fashioned. It's okay. <laughs> I told Katie these are brand new sturdy floors, but they haven't been finished yet, so there's you can't really damage them. They still have to be sanded and. And now, uh, finished. So you're going to put ice and then a whole lot of salt if you haven't made ice cream before. Like a That's lot, right. more than you would think because you want it to be cold. Yeah, there's an amazing scientific reason why the ice makes the stuff inside the canister freeze. But I don't know what that is. I've read it. I've read the amazing scientific reason why the ice makes the stuff inside the canister freeze. I do not know. But um, I can't actually say that I can repeat it. But it's true. It, it does work that way. I mean, the salt. The salt makes the ice make the stuff freeze. You have to have the salt. Sunday, I am on the struggle bus today. <laughs> <laughs> All the 
salt in it. If you do not. You got salt, salt in the ice container, cream? Yeah. Yeah. So shut your container lid. <laughs> hey, it'll be like so instead of salted caramel ice cream, which is very popular, it'll be salted fig. Salted fig? That kind of sounds good, actually. I know. All right, well, that's how recipes are made. Happy little accident. Mm hmm. Lots of salt, which you can get this salt here on Ochre Coke at the variety store. Mm hmm. Thank goodness. Does this bucket leak? Uh, I don't think so. Yeah, that, that was the thing about my old fashioned one. You had to do it place? outside. Yeah, it leaked all over the place. I don't think it leaked. I guess if you set it there for a couple hours, then maybe. All right. There we go. All right, so I think I got most of that salt out. <laughs> now we'll put our custard in yes. or our. Our strain. Okay, let me let me just look at it. How much, yeah. how much little fig leaf bits are left in it? Is there anything? Is there There's any a green? Bit. Yeah. yeah, little specks. But of that's fig because leaf we bits. didn't use the fine. Right. Colander. Okay. So I don't know. Let's see how it goes. All right. So then you pour it into your ice cream maker. And of course, if you've ever made ice cream homemade, this is the way it's done. If you haven't, you'll be, it'll be a learning experience too. Absolutely. And like I said earlier, if you look into this, it's not a lot. I would say it's about four, four servings. Like four servings if you're not too hungry. Will, yeah. Okay. It does thicken up a bit. And well, that is one thing I've noticed about or... making my own ice cream is it's expensive because you have to buy yes. the heavy cream and the, mm -hmm. and everything that, you know. It's actually much cheaper to buy store-bought ice cream, which is yes. probably why people switch to that. It doesn't taste as good, though. It does not. It probably isn't entirely real ingredient. Right. Unless you're buying an expensive brand, so do you save money? All right. Yeah, I bet. There. Ha ha. Ah, and it locks in place. Yep. Good. Okay. And there it goes. And how long does it take to do that? 20 minutes. 20 minutes. It took longer another day, but I made a bigger batch. So if it's a smaller batch, 20 minutes. If it's not thickening up, then make, um, put more ice in. Right. But, yeah, so that'll be done in approximately 20 minutes um and meanwhile yeah. we'll get the stuff out of the fridge and show you how it's served oh don't look at my mess at <laughs> no i'm like it no the mess of my house no. was just i i did not mean to angle that direction at all maybe we should have put it in there earlier but all right spoon that in here spoon do it over here doctor the one to the to the left there you go But it's probably soft yeah, enough, isn't it? Sometimes the cream will oh, it'll the bottom, separate mm -hmm. if, it, if you freeze it when it's still kind of liquidy. Um, so if that is the case, let it be thawed and stir it back up a little more. But I see. Okay. And that's one thing about homemade it. ice cream is it thaws really quickly. Yes, it does. E even more than regular ice cream, which melts pretty fast. Oh, right. It. Toppings. Um, so, if you saw pictures on Facebook, this is what I used. I just did a couple pecans, and I thought that the nutty flavors um, went really well with the softer nut um, texture. Mm -hmm. So, pistachios would also be really good and add a nice right. color to it. 
I think Claire or Heather suggested that. Yeah. This is not pro proper knife chopping. I am not a chef. <laughs> <laughs> No judgment, no judgment. It, yeah, so the bear chopped at the end. What kind of fig did you say this was? Kadoda. Kadoda, okay. Yeah, it's a Japanese variety. It's very pretty. It's very so pretty. You want them to be kind of soft. Mm -hmm. um, but you're going to chop the top off about that much yep. no until stem. you can see the inside. Right. So it might cut off a little more. Sure. Because um, you don't want a lot of that skin, you want right. more of the fleshy bit. So. Um, and then I just cut it in half. And for the smaller figs, like the sugar figs that are about mm -hmm. that big, um, I do uh, six pieces. But for the bigger ones, I do eight. Okay. And those are just to throw on top of the ice cream. It looks pretty. It tastes delicious. Meanwhile, look at that, the miracle of electricity. <laughs> Doing it's doing all the work for us. Yeah. That's great. Right. Making a lot of Look noise. How pretty those are. That's, that's gorgeous, a gorgeous colors. Fig. Yeah. You know the winning picture for the fig photo contest that John Simpson took is Kadoda figs. Really. They're really pink and green ones. They're a brighter pink though than this tree of Heather's, and she was worried. I mean, not worried. I would say she was not sure that Kadoda is what it is, but that's that's the best one has. So. I guess they can be even pinker and greener, like that picture that John took. Yeah. The so, tree that he got them from is on Howard Street, you know, that he got for the picture. Um, I feel like that's... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Is this for me? You're not making yeah. yourself a bowl? No, I will. I just wanted what? to for the video to kind of show them, <laughs> you know, what it looks like. So there's your puns oh. and your goodness flipped over there we go look at that can you see it in the light oh yeah it looks perfect i i can't imagine that it won't be all right here let me turn a it around tasty and treat a video of you tasting it. oh <laughs> gorgeous. All right. okay so sure i need a spoon All right, so here Sunday is Hi, first everybody. bite. I'm putting my contacts. <laughs> All right, I'm here. So I'm gonna just ice cream without fig first. Did you get nuts in it? Mm -hmm. Just ice cream. That is amazing. That has a great flavor. It really is coconutty. Yeah. Cinnamony. Yeah. Did you try it with the figs or the nuts yet? I'm going to do it now. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> mm. So, Katie, you're going to open an ice cream store. Yeah. Thanks everyone for watching. Thank you.